There's nothing nicer than sitting down to a cup of steaming tea and a slice of delicious homemade cake. Today I'm going to show you how to make clementine and raspberry cake, one of my all-time favorite tea time treats. So we're going to start off with creaming the butter and the sugar together. So we have room temperature butter. Make sure that it is softened, otherwise this job is going to be a little bit difficult. And equal quantities caster sugar. Caster sugar means that it will cream easier for you. And with a big food processor or with even a handheld mixer like this one, mix until the mixture is fully combined and light and pale and creamy. Our butter and caster sugar has been creamed together so we can start adding the eggs and beating them in. It mixes better if you add one egg at a time. Give a good whiz around the bowl. So that's well mixed together. At this point, we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So vanilla extract is made from fresh vanilla bean powder, whereas essence is synthesized. So extract will always give you a better flavor. It's about a teaspoon of the extract. I pretty much use vanilla in all my baking because I think it gives a wonderful aroma and a well-rounded flavor. And instead of using milk in our recipe, we're going to use fresh orange juice and the zest of an orange. So get yourself a citrus zester and grate off the rind of your orange. So this will add a wonderful citrusy flavor to your cake that you'll be able to smell as you're baking. Scrape that out. So using the orange juice ensures that our cake is gonna be wonderfully moist and delicious. After this, we're going to sift in our flour and our baking powder. So we're using plain flour with a teaspoon of baking powder. So you just want to sift this in. This recipe also translates really well into a gluten-free cake. Just swap out the plain flour with a gluten-free alternative, a gluten-free plain flour. Actually, just scrape down the sides of the bowl to make sure you incorporate all the rest of the flour. Give it a final whiz round. The mixture is going to be very, very thick. Do not be tempted to overbeat it because we'll just be bashing out all the air. So at this point, it's time to put away the electric beaters and fold in our fruit. So we're going to use two mandarin oranges or clementines. Clementines are ideal to use for this recipe because they are a seedless variety. So get rid of the peel and as much of the pith as you can. And we're also going to use two mandarins to decorate the top of the cake. So just break into segments, straight into your cake. Discard any pith down the center. And one more. We're also going to add 250 grams of fresh raspberries. So the combination of the clementines and the raspberries not only look delicious, but are absolutely fantastic to taste. So gently fold these in because you want to try and keep the raspberries as whole as possible. You can even pop your raspberries into the freezer for a short while, because that will just keep them together. So that's enough mixing because our raspberries are starting to break apart. They're such a soft, delicate fruit. Raspberries, like all berries, are full of antioxidants called proanthocyanidins that are especially good for looking after our cardiovascular health and eyesight. It's time to transfer it to our cake tin. So use quite a wide, loose bottom cake tin. And I've just buttered this and sprinkled flour over it to make sure that it's completely non-stick. And if you turn it sideways, see that I'm just moving the flour along and it's going to help make it non-stick. If your cake tin is a little bit on the old side, you can line the bottom with a piece, circular piece of parchment paper to help to come out even easier. So spoon your delicious clementine and raspberry cake mixture into the tin. You can see the gorgeous pink swirls from the raspberries. 
juicy clementine segments. And to get it just to settle into more or less even shape, give it a good shake. There's no need to spoon it, smooth it out of the spatula because you've got all the fruit in there too. So now we need two clementines. We're going to use the segments to edge our cake with. So what you want to do, a little bit of precision here, is place each mandarin segment or clementine segment along the outside of the cake. And as the cake bakes, it will puff up around the clementine segments. So this is what your cake should look like before it goes into the oven. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees. The cake will take approximately an hour to bake. You'll know it's ready when you insert a knife into the middle of the cake and when you pull it out the knife should come away clean, meaning there should be no doughy wet residue cake mixture, in other words, stuck to the knife. So I'm just going to pop this one into the oven and switch the timer on. Our clementine and raspberry cake is ready to come out of the oven. That's looking absolutely gorgeous, nice golden colour. So it needs to cool in the tin for about 10 minutes and then you can pop it out and put it on its glaze. So here is one that's already come out of the oven. And I'm just going to heat up a little bit of apricot jam and some passion fruit and pour it over the cake as a little glaze. So this is a few tablespoons of ordinary apricot jam that you can buy in any shop. And just over a medium heat, we're going to melt it together with some fresh passion fruit. So you might have seen these before, these are passion fruit, lovely sweet tart flavour, full of vitamin C, really really good for you. So just chop it in half and scrape it out with a teaspoon. It's a lovely bright orange colour and all the little seeds are really really decorative. So give this a good stir, see it's bubbling away there, so our glaze is ready. You just want the jam to become liquidy so it's easy to pour over the cake. So you're just going to pour this glorious, shiny passion fruit glaze over your cake. What I'm going to do is just dish up one portion of the cake so you can see what it looks like inside. So I just have a little plate ready and I'm serving with a bit of fresh cream, some more passion fruit on top and just some other fruit. We've got physicalis and a half strawberry. It's a nice generous slice of cake. So you can see the raspberries have left a gorgeous colour. Little drizzle of the apricot granadilla glaze. And because we used orange in the actual cake, we had the whole fresh orange with the zest and the juice. I'm just going to add a few little twists out of the citrus peel. And there you have it clementine and raspberry cake.